Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank my viewers and those that have liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I would also like to say thank you to everyone who has purchased a reading with me and to all of those who have commented on my videos. Thank you so much. I don't have time to answer everyone, but I do read each and every comment. Um, I do have an announcement to make. I am now back from vacation and I am once again available to take any private readings for those of you who wish to book uh, a reading with me. Now this is for the sign of cancer for the month of October going forward. These energies can play out to as much as six months and even out to one whole year, but they are at their strongest within those first six months from the time you view this video. It is a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your moon and your rising sign for your messages. Now, <coughs> in the overall energies here, we have the Two of Wands. And this is about a decision, either that you have made or that you are thinking of making. This has to do with some sort of news that comes out of the past or from somebody that you know from your past. This could be um, getting a second chance at something with someone from the past. Now, <clears throat> I feel that there was um, some sort of challenging energy with this person or persons from the past because um, I do have the Page of Swords. You may feel that somebody has lied to you, uh, which caused this uh, challenging energy here that you were just not happy with. Um, and you are like really focused on what happened. And it has caused a transformation. Um, and perhaps you may have severed ties with that person or persons. And um, you may have felt you had to defend yourself. And, and and I say persons because I have three uh, three court cards here. I have um, two air signs and a fire sign, but you know it doesn't have to be those signs. And you know it could be a situation that is kind of like standoffish because I have the two air signs have their swords up and the queen of rods has hers. She's like standing her ground. So this could be some sort of with this sword energy here, the knight and the page, some sort of standoff with regards to some situation. And the Nine of Cups and the Star would suggest that you would like to get to the truth of this um, or it is your desire to put an end to this um, situation. I will do these at the end. Um, so at the center of this reading, we have justice. Now, this could be some sort of uh, karmic justice. Um, you may feel that you don't deserve what happened. Or you may feel they deserve, I don't, whatever happened. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this could have happened before whatever this situation is, because again, we speak to karma here with the wheel. 
Um, so this is a situation that could have repeated itself. And it will continue to repeat until uh, the lessons are learned. Now, death steps in and says, you need to sever ties with this uh, type of energy. But I feel that this change, um, you are not happy with this change. Uh, all these people are down on the ground. And um, what I want you to know, though, is that the sun is there and the sun does rise after. So things do work out. But for now, you are avoiding this change that has come in. Again, we could be speaking of a fire sign or it could simply be that you are standing your ground um, with regards to a situation. You may have felt uh, that somebody has tricked you, um, robbed you of something emotionally, sneaking around things going on behind your back um, is what you would be feeling with regards to whatever this energy is, whatever the situation was or is for you. Here we see at the root of this, um, again, this page of swords energy. So this has to do with some sort of conversation um, either you had with someone or they with you uh, or the fear of a conversation. Um, this could have been you feel you feeling as though somebody lied to you and we do have the uh, ten of cups on this with um, which shows a happy family so this could have had to do with family. Um, and you are assessing that information because you feel that there is some sort of deception going on here with the moon. You would like to heal this, um, whatever this is to you. This could have been... Um, something, a relationship uh, that perhaps you felt held potential at one time and um, you are thinking back to what happened and how much you feel that you've sacrificed for the family or for uh, that relationship. This could involve children. And temperance is saying that you need to bring balance here to whatever this situation is. Now, once again, up here, we have this reference to the past, the Six of Cups, uh, reminiscing to happier times or uh, this could also be, again, this person who you feel has been sneaking around but got caught and you have put your sword in the, um, you, you've kind of like drawn the line, that's it. And you're looking back uh, at all of this feeling as though you don't deserve this. You feel like these people were, or person was manipulative. This could have been a uh, third party relationships where somebody was cheating, but this secret has come out. Um, you could have been dealing with somebody who has some sort of addiction here because with the devil we have this King of Cups and the King of Cups can uh, speak to somebody who had addition, uh, addic addictions. This could have been somebody who was very manipulative and very controlling. 
And then we have the card of secrets here. Once again, this king comes up here and this can easily represent you also uh, because you are a water sign. Um, you have been through some challenging time here. Um, you are angry about this separation. You're not happy about it, but you took the decision to walk away. You are angry with whatever went on here. Um, and you walk away with a heavy heart. Now, here in this sector, which is the near future, you are looking back on all of this. You have taken your decision. We have the world twice, along with justice, the chariot, and the emperor. And I feel that you have closed yourself off emotionally to, with regards to this situation and to these people. You have just cut them off. And you are feeling victorious. You feel that you have made uh, the right decision, that you were justified in making this decision, the one that you have made. <coughs> you have had um, a lot of internal struggles. Once again, we see a hollow, a hollow victory here having to do with home and family uh, or a commitment. Now here with this five you are standing up and everybody's on the ground. Okay. Here you have all of those rods now. They're all gathered and they're laying at your feet and you are holding one rod and the people are now gone. And you are thinking about all of this. You are weary and perhaps wondering, did you make the right decision? Because I think that this person is now feeling alone in his victory. So I thank you so much for watching and um, if you would like to book a private reading, the details on how to do so are in the description box below. Uh, I hope that this has helped someone out there and thank you so much for watching. Many blessings. Bye for now.